My brother and I grew up in the Chesapeake Bay watershed, and we've always wondered exactly what it was that makes this place so special. After creating a short film about the connectivity of this watershed, Fly Fishers International reached out and challenged us to take the journey further. Over a thousand miles, seven days, and one watershed. This is the Chesapeake Tales. I'm Grant Alvis. I'm a full-time UPS driver and a part-time boat fin addict. My baby put snakes in my bed. I woke up with one crawling around my head. I went walking down by the swamp. My muddy if you're a sport fisherman, I don't know how you don't love a bow fin. It's sight fishing a prehistoric, literal living dinosaur that has a mouth made of nothing but bone. The big thing about the bowfin is millions of years evolution, these fish don't care necessarily. You can ride right over top of them and come back five minutes later and catch them. They, uh, they just, they've evolved over the years to know they don't have any predators, so a big 24-foot ski boat flying over them at 40 miles an hour doesn't seem to scare them that much. It's not an easy game, but it's never a day where you come out here and they're, they're the only fish you see. I mean, like we saw today, you see thousands of gar, you, you catch bass while you're trying to catch them. It's never a, a boring day out here. No matter how tough it gets, it's still a, an awesome fishery and you never go home upset. Uh, biggest issues facing the fishery is definitely um, the harvest of these fish. They're a native species. They've been here for millions of years. Just all of a sudden in the past 20 years, people are killing these fish just because they're uneducated on the species. They don't necessarily know what purpose they play in the environment and they think they're a predator that's harming the ecosystem even though they've been here longer than we have. It really comes down to education and people need to learn how to respect them more than anything. One of the main reasons these fish deserve respect, I mean, they're millions and millions of years old. They have million year old fossils of these fish in China that they found and now they're only really native to this one small area of the world, you know, the southeastern United States and even the east coast up into the Great Lakes in some areas. And uh, these fish have been here forever and especially here in Virginia, most of our sport fish, as you'd say, are their introduced species. Like, largemouth bass, uh, blue catfish, a lot of our sunfish species, they're, they're not native here. The true native fish like bowfin, they're, they're still here. They're still doing what they've always done. And you know, through all these changes to the ecosystem from people, from invasive species, introduced species, you name it, they're still the most badass fish in the water. So that's not gonna change. <laughs> The uh, Chesapeake Bay, to me, it's probably cliche, but it's home. I mean, I've lived here my whole life. I've fished just about every river, tidal river that flows into it on the west side, and even out, you know, fishing the mouth of the bay and the ocean from, you know, every species from the Atlantic Ocean all the way up into the brook trout streams west of here. The Chesapeake Bay watershed is just what I've always known. The freshwater portion of our week-long journey was now over, and our next stop took us to the southern limits of the watershed, where we targeted some of the bay's true giants. 